prophet Stephen Joshua knew he would be betrayed. He knew he would be persecuted. He knew he would be called names. But still, he never stopped doing what the Father wanted him to do. If he had stopped, people like me, my colleagues, and many of us would not be standing here before you. He never gave up because love never gives up. He was so determined to make the life of others as good as his. What a mentor. What a father. What a coach. He persevered for the best. And he got the best. For love does not allow us to kill our neighbor. It does not allow us to kill our brothers, even our enemies. If I have love, I will not stand here and use my pulpit as a platform of judgment. Can you see how powerful love is? These are few out of millions of unscripted words spoken by a very great man that was born this day. A man sent from God, a servant of the anointed one, servant of the most high God. The man who made the name Jesus popular in this generation. God's general, God filled Mashal. God's home, God's choice. God's favorite. God's friend. Heaven's delight. Born in a generation in the person of senior prophet T.B. Joshua. <laughs> Father, we thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Father, for your presence here. Can you feel what I'm feeling here? Yes. The power of God is here. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It is only through love we are able to respond to God and to others. Because love is not self-seeking. It's not selfish. Love is not always me first. Love cares more for others than for self. Love stoops. It comes down to the level of everyone. As I'm talking to you, I'm seeing the life of the prophet, Prophet TV Joshua. It comes down to the level of everyone. Imagine my, my mentor came down to my own level to pick me. Imagine he did not come down. I will not be standing before you. He came down to pick people like us. People like us that had no bearing. That is love. Love stoops. It does not belittle anyone. It does not look down on others because love has eyes to see hope. To see what a sinner can be by the grace of God. Love has eyes to see what a sick man can be by the grace of God. Love has eyes to see what a poor boy can be by the grace of God. That is why love can make a poor boy, a poor man, a beggar become a prince. Love is humble. He does not express itself in pride or arrogance. Anytime we have opportunity to stand before our mentor, we keep wondering, what kind of humble man is this? What kind? If we are permitted to tell you some things, oh God, a prophet of God that walked in all spiritual dimensions but never revealed it to the world because of humility. How am I permitted to tell you this? 
In case you don't know, thank you, Lord. He walked on the water. We saw it. And the world never knew. These are unscripted. He did what? He walked. We saw it. And he said, tell no one. He said, tell no one. But now we can tell you because it's with the Father. It's just like Jesus. So humble. Many of us today will upload it because we want followers. You say, bring camera. Record me. Show it to them that I'm the, I'm the best in the world. Love is humble. It's humble. Lord, we pray for the baptism of love today. Love is goodness. It does not express itself in evil. Love is patient. It does not express itself in hunger. That is love for you. Love keeps going. No matter what comes, no matter what happens, it keeps going. Ah, prophet T.B. Joshua knew he will be betrayed. He knew he will be persecuted. He knew he would be called names. But still, he never stopped doing what the Father wanted him to do. If he had stopped, people like me, my colleagues, and many of us would not be standing here before you. He never gave up. Because love never gives up. He was so determined to make the life of others as good as his. What a mentor. What a father. What a coach. He persevered for the best. And he got the best. He forgave all his critics because he knew his critics were ignorant. Because law forgives. He does not keep record of wrong. Law forgets wrong so that there can be hope for the future. This he did. This he did. A person who does not love will not forgive. And a person who does not forgive will not receive God's mercy and grace. A person who does not love cannot be entrusted with the power of God because he will misappropriate it. He will misuse it to hurt himself and others. That is it. The love you give away is the only love you keep. Let love be uppermost in your heart. My mentor says, he said, life is love and love is life. He said, if you miss love, you miss life. And I have to leave you with his words. He said this. He said, the love you give, the forgiveness you show, the patience and forbearance that grace your life will produce much fruits. Perhaps long after you have forgotten about them, he said, give God time. They are working themselves out slowly, but surely. May God bless his word in the midst of our hearts. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Good morning and win today. Evangelist Opeyemi, the spiritual son of senior prophet Tibi Joshua. The clergyman who is the founder of SCON, the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua. It's not new to critics and compounding accusations, but notwithstanding, he always have a word. He said, call me prophet, leave it for God.
For those critics, a platform for advertisement. And that is why, when you are on your way to the synagogue church of all nations, Lagos, Nigeria, there's no way you would ever see a placard of advertisement leading you to the church. For their critics are their adverts. For if you are in church today and you made up your mind that tomorrow you will stand against him, then it will only serve as an advertisement to the church. Evangelist Opeyemi made shocking revelation concerning the men of God, senior prophet to be Joshua. He said he was opportuned and graced to be raised under a caring, loving man of God such as Prophet T.B. Joshua. He also disclosed that the man of God knew he would be persecuted, criticized, mocked, and accused. But these did not stop his desire to pursue his focus, to pursue his focus, to pursue his purpose in Christ Jesus. For his mission was not shaken. His love for Christ and to accomplish his assignment and vision in the vineyard of God was not shaken by any amount of critics, accusation or mockery. For if the man of God was carried by all these things, then people like him should not have been talking today. He had just one focus, the love for the mission, vision of God's divine assignment in his life. And he knows that no matter the wind, the storm, he has this assignment to accomplish. Just as our Lord Jesus Christ said, He said, For the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come to give life, and life in abundance. For our Lord Jesus Christ did not say the road will be easy. He did not say the journey would be without tongues. But he said, I will guide you through the fire, through the wind, through the storm. I would be with you, and I would be your savior. For you shall pass through the fire, and you will not be burned, and through the deep waters, and it will not overflow you because I have set my word upon you. Just as the psalmist says in Psalms 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I would fear no evil, for you art with me, for God is with us. He is our light, he is our shield, he is our keeper, our deliverer, our strength, and our direction. In him we have our being. For we shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the destruction that wasted at noonday. For a thousand shall fall at our side, and ten thousand at our right hand, but it will not come near us. Only shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked, because we have made the Lord the most high, our habitation. For there shall be no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For I will give my angel charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways, lest thy dash thy feet against a stone. Just as the man of God, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, always say, that as believers, children of God, we have been opportune and granted the believer's weapon. He said, I have given thee authority to tread upon scorpions and others, and all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. For this is the believer's authority. They will rise up with their mockery, with their accusation, with their weapons of destruction. But the Lord will be our shield. The Lord will be our guard. Just like the woman who was accused of adultery and was about to be stoned because of her sin. And Jesus with the divine authority, he stood before the crowd and asked them, anyone that is not guilty of this kind of sin should pick up the first stone and stone the woman. And before the woman can raise her head up, she's faced only Jesus. For those that wanted to kill her were gone. And she was face to face with our master Jesus Christ. And Jesus told her, Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. After the Lord Jesus Christ had shielded her from her mockers, accusers, those that were out to kill her, but the Lord defended her. The Lord will be your defender today. The Lord will be your protector. The Lord will be your shield and God. For the Lord will be your light and deliverer from this day henceforth and forevermore. Amen.
please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as a way to support the channel. We are grateful for all your efforts.